Um, the short breaks programme was really interesting. Um, we started to work obviously with the first child and then an opportunity came around where um, there were some really brave commissioners I think in Cornwall that said we've got a small pot of money um, and we've got a group of children that um, traditional uh, services don't work for let's have a look at the providers out there and see if somebody can do it a bit differently and I felt that that was our perfect opportunity to say you know what we're really up for designing something that's different that engages children as children it doesn't think about the disability first so what would kids want irrespective of their disability with a short break they don't want to go away from the family home to um, almost like a a hospital type environment they want to go and have fun and they want to go and ride bikes and climb mountains and swim and um, enjoy themselves and be free to be kids so we designed a, a model um, for a year for a pilot that said give us five kids <laughs> let them teach us how to be better at providing their short break for them and their family um, and that's what they did um, and it was an incredible uh, it just really powerful journey for us I think I think we had no idea the shape that that would take in terms of the way that that designed our services in the future I think the children um, beyond my wildest imaginations in terms of their capability for pushing our boundaries, encouraging us to be um, more open about the way that we thought about support, uh, to be less judgmental about restrictions, um, that they had the same hopes for themselves as their brothers and sisters and that they could teach us how to teach other people to be um, more respectful of them as children and to listen and to respond to the dreams that they have for themselves. There is a better way. They deserve to have better support and they deserve to be part of designing their child's support as do their children in designing their own futures. Tell me about what happened in France. Steve Mann. Good me. No, you look good, me. What was your favourite part in France? Paragliding. Stupid. And what else? What was that like, paragliding? Um, well, it was a bit oh, scary, I don't know. Did you enjoy Get it? Out. Yeah. Get out. And Louis did particularly well because... I can't see up It well. took him four or five goes to get going. Um, and he was really patient, weren't you, mate? And he set off and Louis has problems with his ears, so he did well from that, didn't you, mate? Yeah. And what else did you enjoy? Caroline and Ryan, the best bit of this, Ryan didn't even get a chance to go on it because of the wind <laughs> wasn't very <that> good. <laughs> that yeah. was so funny and epic. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to go paragliding but I didn't get to because a storm came over. Yeah, <laughs> and I laughed. Yeah, Louis found particularly funny. <laughs> <laughs>